Today I will be showing you picking up stitches for a neckline. Picking up stitches for a neckline combines many of the techniques that we've learned in doing different seams. A neckline involves straight horizontal stitches being picked up, which is very similar to a straight horizontal to horizontal seam. And then it involves picking up along a diagonal. And then it involves picking up along a vertical, which is very similar to seaming a horizontal to a vertical piece. So I'll link to all of those individual videos um, as well, but we are going to combine all of those techniques in this one method. So to start, in order to know what our ratio will, will be along the vertical edge, we need to find out our row gauge and compare it to our stitch gauge for the pattern that will be along the neckline. So, for instance, you would need to find out your stitch gauge for your ribbing in the size needles that you are working with. I'm going to go by my ratio that I had found in my horizontal to vertical seaming video, which is seven rows to five stitches. So you join your working yarn, or you grab your working yarn, and you leave a tail, and it's, it's easiest to begin along the horizontal edge. In seaming, you use thread and you come out of the center of the stitches, right, to seam across these. So similarly, we are going to be pulling up loops, live stitches, out of the center of each stitch so that the column of stitches will appear seamless, will continue straight. So I find my selvage stitch, I find my bind off edge, I go into the center of that selvage stitch immediately under the bind off edge. And I pull a loop through, leaving a tail. Now I continue going into the center of the next stitch yarn over the needle and back and pull a loop up. And I will do that across into the center, pull, oops, pull a loop up until I get to a stair step. So I'm not to a stair step yet. So this again is very similar to seaming stair stepped pieces which I have a video on that. Okay, so that's a whole stitch. Now I'm my next stitch is at a stair step. I've, I've got this stitch, so that's that selvage there in that column right there. Right? So I don't want to get that stitch. I want to get the next stitch right below the bind off. And so there's a whole gap of two rows but when we are done, you will find that gap disappear. So I pick up in the center of that stitch, the center of the next stitch. I'm not using any ratios here. I'm getting stitch for stitch because at this stair step, it is just like working a horizontal. So I want to get every column. Now there's the next stair step. That's that selvage stitch at the stair step. I already have a stitch right there. I don't, I don't want to get that stitch. So I want to get the next stitch over right there immediately under the bind off right there. Now I'm 
at the end of the stair step, I'm going to get this last one right here. And now my diagonal begins. So now I'm going to be picking up bars. I don't want to go in here and pick up this bar because that's going to leave a hole. Anytime you insert a needle into a hole, you will make the hole bigger, not smaller. So I'm going to skip this bar and I'm going to catch this bar. And my ratio, so I'm not actually catching the bar, I'm going to go into the space between the selvage and the next stitch. So I'm, I'm skipping that space and I'm going into the next space and I'm going to pick up a loop. So now my ratio from my other swatch that I seamed was 5 to 7, so I did 1 bar, 2 bars, 1 by bar, 2 bars, 1 bar. That would get my 7 rows for every 5 stitches. So that was 1 bar that I skipped. So now I will skip 2 bars, 1, 2, and go into the next space. Now I will skip one and go into this space. Now I will skip two, one, two, and go into that space. Now I will skip one and go here. Now I will start that ratio over, which is one, two, one, two, one. So now I'll go one bar over and then two bars over and then one, and then two, and so on and so forth. And when I've picked up all of my stitches, it should be nice and even. And then I'll be begin my neckline pattern. Here it is one by one ribbing. And you can see that it flows nice and straight on each of these edges. It does not pucker and it lies nice and flat. So that is seaming or picking up a neckband stitches. Thanks for watching.